Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a disassemble or a complete teardown on a Lenovo ThinkPad computer. All right. So let me show you the model number. If you flip it around, take a look at the back of the computer here. You should be able to identify. It says ThinkPad T14s Gen 2. That is the model number of my laptop here. All right, so let's go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We will be removing the screws here and the back cover. So in this teardown process, what I'll do is I'll explain to you what are the things that you can change or upgrade. For example, would be the laptop battery if you're planning to change that out. Maybe upgrade your RAM or maybe upgrade your hard drive. So I'll walk you through in this process of tearing down the laptop. All right, so once you have unscrew the bottom back plate, the, the screws do not come off, all right? You just have to unscrew them, and then at this point, you pretty much can get in between the back cover. I just use my fingernail and pry it open, and then just kind of slide it away from your body to remove the back cover. Now, as you can see, this is the internal part of your laptop. Uh, the battery is right here, CPU fan, the heat sink. This should be your M.2 drive, but we already removed it. And the RAM. So unfortunately, this is a built-in RAM. I apologize, I did mention to upgrade the RAM, but this is non-upgradable laptop. So the RAM is not able to upgrade, and you're stuck with what the RAM was given. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is to remove the battery. This is the battery connector. Just kind of get underneath the top of the connector and pry it up and kind of slide it away. So to install the battery, it's a little bit tricky. What you want to do is you got to make sure you slide it in first at 45 degree angle. So 45 degree angle, you slide it in. Once it's in, okay, then you push it down on the top. That's how you install the battery. So it's a bit tricky. And uh, that's how you install. To remove, flip the top first and then slide at 45 degree angle away from the body to remove it. All right, the next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver again, the same screwdriver, remove those screws. So this laptop has water damage. As you can see, the top right corner here is full of liquid damage, corrosion. So we will be replacing, sorry, um, the computer is not repairable. So I just want to do a teardown and show you each of the process. All right, once you have done removing all the screws, the entire battery would just come right off. And if you're looking to buy the battery replacement model, that would be here, L20C4P72. All right, the next step I'd like to do is disconnect all these cables. So go ahead and flip that connector up, slide the cable down. Again, open up the clipper, slide that touchpad down. This is the flex cable for the touchpad. And we need to remove this yellow tape. This tape is taping down the keyboard. So let's go ahead and remove that. Flip open the clipper, slide it down. Open up the clipper, slide it down. The Wi-Fi gray is on the right. The black is on the left. Kind of remove that cable. All right, here you got to make sure that you um, open up that clipper. So there's a little tiny clipper right there. So that clipper has to be open up first. Okay, once the clipper is open, slide that cable down. Okay, once it slide it down, and that should be it. That is your LCD. Um, LCD stuff, the LCD cable. Here's your CPU fan connector. All you have to do is just slide it to your right, to your left, 
slide it to the left to remove it all right let's go ahead and remove the Wi-Fi screw slide that Wi-Fi cart towards your body so at 45 degree angle slide it up here is your CMOS battery connector so you just kind of do that to remove it again here you are going to see that little clipper that is clipped onto that connector so you got to flip it up once you open up the clipper slide that cable away now we are going to remove all the screws so that we can remove the LCD screen There are three screws holding down the hinge. Okay, now the next step I like to do is to remove the speaker connector. Here is the speaker connector, just kind of slide it away from your body. And there's one screw here holding down the motherboard. Remove that. Remove this one as well, which is the screw holding down the motherboard and this metal bracket okay so once you remove them I'm pretty sure there's one more screw right here which is holding down the motherboard and at this point the motherboard should just break free like so And it just come right off okay now if you want to find a uh, what do you call that the uh, the heat sink or the fan replacement you can probably look it up here for the model number or this one right here including the heat sink okay here comes the motherboard that would be the HX3BC nmd442 okay that is the motherboard for this and pretty much at this point what you can do is just open up the hinge and then you can see that the hinge is open up at 90 degree angle now the um, this I probably think is the power button or maybe the uh, what is this let me take a look here so you, you have two screws that is holding down to, to this connector oh uh, looks like that is the touch ID okay so there's the touch ID what can I do with that? Probably remove this as well. There are two screws here. So remove that screw and remove this screw here. So once you have removed the two screws, the touch ID would just come right off. Flip open the clipper and then slide that connector out. Okay. That should be it and according to the keyboard uh, such a bad news the way they make the keyboard is not replaceable in other words meaning that the keyboard is punched down oh no that's actually not a lot of tiny screws here so you still can re replace the keyboard my best advice to you is to buy a full assembly keyboard like so okay just get yourself a full assembly keyboard like this all right and then replace the full assembly versus removing all single individual 
screws and get to the keyboard that might be a lot more work all right that's it um this is just a teardown on a lenovo t14s and if you have any question comment down below if you do find this video is helpful to you um, please feel free to do a small donation um, you can click the super thanks and let me know if this is helpful i uh, really appreciate you for doing that or donate through paypal all right thanks for watching and until next time bye now